Okay guys, I'm back and uh, I wasn't going to do a video, but I wanted to do a uh, two of those really nice ones with the mountains and the trees on top. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I am not organized because... Okay, so what I usually do is I take one of these spongy things. They are tiny. But they also don't cost like anything. You get 10 for less than a dollar or so. And I'm, I just cut off a piece like that. And then you can just load it up like I did in a previous video. But as you can see, I'm not really organized because I got all the lids on the other colors. There we go. So this time I do want a little bit more blue, a little bit of green. I can hear my husband talking to the dog. I don't know what the dog is doing, but he's being very annoying. That we can say. So this is going to be a little bit more of the bluish on the bottom and then a little lighter at the top. Now someone asked me, you know, do we have to do that with a sponge? No, you don't. You can do it uh, with anything you really like. Brush. But the thing is that you do get a more controlled swipe gradient when you do it like this. Because you just put the, the colors on the, oops, the colors on the paper. And then you sort of know where you get the uh, the gradients. Now I forgot to uh, get myself some water. But what else is new? This was really a uh, sort of an impulsive thing that I thought, hey, let's do that. Because this morning I was uh, going over some uh, videos on YouTube. You know, you do have to get your inspiration somewhere, right? You can't just think, you know, I'm going to sit there sipping tea and all these really interesting projects are gonna just float on into my mind it doesn't work like that so um, what I do is I uh, I usually do a, a little YouTubing in the morning a little Instagramming and then I it also sort of you know makes me want to do something makes me want to uh, you know, get into my studio and create something pretty. So that's, uh, that's nice. Okay. That's nice and light, but now I'm, I'm sort of missing all the blue. Hoping that it's going to come back through this one. Yeah, that's kind of blue. Because I, I do want it to have a little bit more intense color. I thought the other one had, had a little, um, was a little faded out so I'm gonna try and let's see blue I'm gonna try and get it a really intense color so I read a lot of your comments and I answered a lot of them already and I know that a lot of people want to go house hunting with me so we're gonna do that that's gonna be a lot of fun and um, I just might first you know you can in the program or the website that I use to find a house. It's the biggest website in Holland. Almost all the houses that are for sale are on the website. So I was thinking of just, you know, going through the uh, listings and then finding some I really like. And then just, you know, sort of saving them in... If you make an account, you can save the, the, the houses you like. So, oh, this isn't working out too well. I see that I've missed a lot of over here. Okay. I do like the colors, though. So, I'll save them, and then I can just pop through them when once I, you know, have you guys looking with me. We can do that. That's going to be fun. Because, especially if you're not living in Europe, you know... There's such a big difference between 
uh, houses in USA and houses in Europe because you know USA it's pretty big you guys get really big <laughs> big houses you don't have that over here in Europe there were uh, there if you have 150 square meters that is big that's normally what they call big and I'll make sure that I have the conversion from uh, meters to uh, square foot so you can compare okay this one is uh, pretty much ready I kind of like this one Ooh, what's that a little a little speck of white that's okay okay I think this one is kind of pretty we're going to keep this one we're going to let it dry for a bit I'm going to do one more because I want two of these uh, because everyone really well everyone most people who commented said they really liked the uh, the little one so I'm going to do uh, a replica of the little one but then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger why? Uh, just because I can. <laughs> I have to sort of think that that's the questions you're asking. Ooh, that's nice. A little bit more light, a little bit more blue. See, now the sponge is a little bit more moist. And you see how easy now that it works. Ooh, that's a little bit too much blue. And green and yeah, we'll see how that works they still are sort of the um, the uh, the sea glass colors and that's what I'm going for for a while and then I'm going to change palette color palette totally that's going to be a lot of fun putting a little blue on here There we go. Then we're going to put on a little bit more of the lighter color. And I'll just load this up. Like that. And we'll go over it with the brush to make it nice and even and give us a nice little gradient and that's it okay I'm gonna dry these and I'll be right back okay nice and dry and flat see that and um, the paper that I'm using um, I'll put it in right here I'll make a picture of the paper because it's that linen acrylic paper. Okay, so now to the, I don't know how you call it, but it's really easy. You take a syringe and you load it up. This is a gel medium. It's, it's a kind of stiff, so it's, uh, it's called gel medium. And what I put through it is uh, just the paint that I like, gold paint and a little bit of bronze. And just put it in here. And then we take the little plunger and we push it way to the top. And then I put in a little bit more. I think I have enough like that. see yeah that's enough I'm not sure if it's uh, thin enough we'll see otherwise I can just thin it out a little bit and then we can try it again that's how I did it only I put some places I put a little bit more So you can experiment with uh, what that does. 
Then I take a piece of paper that doesn't soak it up. That's that sort of uh, photo paper. And we'll just put that on here like that. Then we take a little roller and we roll it. First we roll it sideways because we want the uh, we want it to be a little bit broader. See that? That's how it starts. So then a little bit more, a little bit more pressure. Let's see what we get. Ooh, it's starting to go really nice. And then I go like this. And now we get all those nice little, I don't know what you call them, like little branches. But then you have to pick it up and reposition it just a little bit higher. And now we have those little trees that are going all over the top. See that? Now, the thing is about this stuff is that if you make it thinner, you'll see that this starts to change. It'll get a different pattern. So let's see how this is on there. I'm going to put it on there again. And roll it one more time. Okay. And that's kind of okay. I can use that. <clears throat> now the good thing about this paper, I can just wipe it off and use it again because I can't use this. This is really plastic. So, but what I wanted to do, I'm in this experimental mode. So what I really wanted to do is get another syringe and fill that with crackle paste. And this is the uh, crackle paste. Try art. So, I'm going to keep my finger on the bottom because this is a sort of fluid. And we're going to fill it up. Let it run back a little bit. Ooh, don't don't come spurting out. Let's see how ooh. See, I'm pushing the air out at the moment. Ooh, I can see through it. I got a long way to go. We're there. And then I was going to put some crackle paste right down by the edge of this. Now I've got to make sure that I do this. Don't want to lose too much of the uh, of the pattern. Sorry my hair is in the way. I do want a nice and tight little border around it. Yeah, I want it all. <gasps> little bit too much, but that's okay. I think you could do this with a brush, but I sort of like to play with syringes. You know, with the syringe, it gives you the thicker layer because um, you do want it to crack and that you really see it. If you do it really flat with a brush, you will get these really tiny cracks. So maybe you're into that, then you don't need a syringe. Okay, let's make this a little bit broader. You never know if you're going to need it. A little bit more down here. Ah, 
I think that's going to work. Okay. We're going to put this one away, and we'll see how that crackles up. Maybe it should be a little bit broader because you want to see those crackles, but I'm just going to do it like this because, like, like I said, it's sort of experimenting. And what I do like is I put a little bit of glitter in the paint, and I can see those little glittery things on top, so that's kind of nice. They are like little trees in the wind. <laughs> they look really cute. See how that shines? That's pretty. Let me get you in closer. There you go. See that? That is kind of nice. Okay, we need to do another one. Because we had two papers. Now, we're going to get the syringy thing again and do this, exactly the same thing. I'm going to stop there because the paper is shorter. Going to fill in the gaps a little bit, but this time I want a little, really a lot of these being a lot thicker. Okay, that's going to be kind of nice. Have to wipe this off. Otherwise, I'll get two of those prints. Okay, that's it. Put it on top. First, we're going to put it, line it up with the bottom of the page. That way, I'll know where I'll have to go. So, first, we're going to go up. down a little harder maybe this time I won't do the sideways thing eh, not big enough see oh yeah pretty but now I have to move it just a little bit Okay. That's it. And this one I'm not going to um, see here the, the tree line on top. This time I'm not going to put the crackle beneath because I'd like to make the shape. Eh, how do I show you guys? Well, the other one, I put the um, the shape like down here, so we had a solid bottom, and we had the colors on top. But this time, I'd like to do it like that. You get my what I'm saying? So we get a little bit of blue, then we get this, and then we get the top. That's going to be perfect. Because they have to be a little bit bigger. They have to be like uh, 30 centimeters. Let's see if I can even get that out of here. Oh no. <laughs> now I'll have to do a 20 by 20. Yeah, because this is, tw the, the best I can get is 24. I should have done one uh, the other way around. I know you guys like me, you know, like to hear what I'm thinking. So that's why I'm not stopping the video, but you can just listen. So the whole paper is 24 exactly. I could do that though. 24, that would, if I did a panel 30 by 30, that would give me 24, six, three on the bottom, three on the top, three centimeters. Might be good. Maybe I'll do both. I'll do a, a 30 by 30 and a 20 by 20. So a 30 by 30 is a uh, 12 inch. And a 20 by 20 is an 8 inch, so just to give you a reference, um, yeah, we're going to do that. So, okay guys, thanks for watching, going to see you in the next video.
Have a great Sunday. Bye-bye.